Hi, this is Art Gallagher. Thank you for watching. Um, we are here in Middletown at Middletown Republican Headquarters with Deputy Mayor Stephanie Murray and Committee Men Tony Fiore, who are both running for re-election this year in the coming um, election on November 7th. And thank you for having more Mammoth Musings to your headquarters. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. welcome. Great to have welcome. you. Yeah. So. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to give the voters a a sense of really who you guys are more personally. I mean, you, you've both been on the Township Committee. They know about your policies. We can get into that in a little bit. But unlike, you know, my little town of Highlands where everybody knows the mayor and you see him walking down the street, you've got, what, 66,000 people living in Middletown and it's... 68 square miles, something like that. 42 yeah. square so miles. So there's no way everybody right. really knows right. everybody. Right. So, um, so Tony, why don't we start with you? You're now running for your fourth term? That's correct, Art. This is my fourth term. Um, if, if elected, it'll be my fourth term on the committee. Um, I've served since 2009. Wow. So you were elected in 2008? Eight, yes. Which was a, a presidential year? It was a presidential year. I've, I've, uh, it was the now second highest turnout in the township's history. Uh -huh. So uh, mm. I've had the fortune of running in some of the highest turnouts and some of the lowest turnouts. So uh, I hope we have a good turnout this year. Good. And what do you do for a living? I work for Prudential Investments, uh, now known as PGM Investments. I run a, uh, a division, a division, a sales division with respect to uh, pension and investment sales of investment products. Um, I am the national sales manager of uh, 11 people that work and report under me. So you're not like a stockbroker? No, yeah. sir. Yeah, no, so sir. You, you, your clients are more institutions? Or? Our clients are consultants and institutional uh, investors, correct. I see. So it sounds like a pretty big job. Yes, it's uh, it's been a it's a great company. It's been a it's a it's a I have a wonderful team. I'm very fortunate to uh, to serve uh, you know a wonderful team there, and um, we've been very successful in our industry, and um, look forward to continuing that. Good. And did you grow up in Middletown? I did not. Um, I moved to Middletown in the beginning, the late 2003, early 2004. I grew up in a uh, small town in Middlesex County called Carteret, which <laughs> is right next to Woodbridge, uh, a town of about 20,000 people at the time, about four square miles. So um, I moved here uh, when we purchased. My wife and I decided that we were going to plant our roots and um, you know, start uh, our family and, and get married. Uh, we looked and uh, found Middletown Township, and it's been the best decision we've ever made. Mm -hmm. Wow, so you cho you chose to be here uh, right, right after you got married? We did, actually, right after we got married, we, uh, we moved to Belford. Um, we bought our first house in Belford, and it was, uh, you know, we lived there for a number of years, uh, had our first uh, daughter in Belford, and then uh, went right before uh, my wife gave birth to our second child, we uh, kind of ran out of a little bit of room of our starter house uh -huh. and uh, moved to a, a little bit of a bigger house here in Middletown. But um, yes, this has been our, our community for since 2004. So, so, so you moved here in 2004 and then you ran for office in 2008, so Correct. four years later. Yes. So what spurred you on to get into politics? I've always been, uh, my, I come from a family that's always been very civic minded. Um, my grandmother was my biggest influence uh, in life. Uh, she was always very involved with our community back in Carteret. She was uh, someone who taught me that if you want to make your community better, you need to give back to your community. And um, she was a lifelong Republican who uh, helped you know shape my views of uh of what uh you know my political views and um, you know I carry that as the chairman of the uh, Carteret Municipal Republican Committee uh, in my early 20s. Wow. Um, so I was always since I was four years old being kind of dragged to you know meetings and elections and that was always a big deal for my grandmother and and my family and you know I, I come from as I said a, a family of uh, a very very community-minded people and they instilled that value in me and I have to tell you it's it's been 
most rewarding experience here in Middletown. Okay, so you grew up in Carteret and went to what, the public school system? There? I did. I am a graduate of Carteret High School. I am the oldest of six children. Really? I am the oldest of six. Um, I uh, attended Rutgers University. Um, when did so you graduate? From I you? graduated Rutgers in 1999 uh, with a degree? political science degree. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and then after my graduation, uh, was set to go to law school and. Um, had a little bit of an unfortunate incident with a knee injury right before going to Michigan State Law School. Uh, tore a knee up playing uh, playing sports uh, between my graduation and uh, moved to Michigan, and uh, just happened to uh, come upon Prudential and started a career in a different path uh, in the retirement services area. Wow! So you're, I you're totally seeing him as a lawyer. So, yeah, <laughs> I could. I really so could. I've argued with him a couple yeah. times. At the, uh, Me too. Um, I think I've lost more than I've won. <laughs> especially at home. <laughs> but the, um, so the, so your, your career sounds like it's turned out pretty well, but it was kind of accidental. How did you find, how did you, and, and was that just a temporary thing to, co uh, ter to carry you over or? I'm a first generation. Uh, I'm the son of a first generation, I guess you'd say first generation, I guess if my father was born yes. and raised in Italy. Um, he came over when he's 18 years old, um, always instilled hard work and uh, you know, interesting when you graduate college and you're uh, deferring law school and uh, you have an old Italian dad who's pushing you and saying, now what? Um, you, you may start to think about things and maybe I need to uh, look at, you know, my, my life uh, again. Maybe this isn't my plan. And fortunately for me, the job market was... Um, you know, I put myself out there, if I remember correctly, maybe it was monster.com or one of those uh, those websites back then. Back and the uh, back in the day, yeah. I put my resume out there, which had a lot of community experience and, you know, my, my degree from Rutgers. And I was fortunate to get a, a number of interviews, um, one of which was with Prudential to work in Metro Park in their uh, retirement services division. And, you know, I took that as a, as a job just to see maybe for a year and, um, you know, I, I tended to like it. I, I excelled in it. And um, two firms later and back to Prudential. And um, it's been a great career. I don't I don't regret one minute of it. Uh, though wow. I think I maybe I would have been a decent attorney because I think I beat you once in an argument. Yeah. <laughs> but, you, but you'd be... Uh but you, you might, might, we might not have met Matt. You might That's have true. ended up staying in Michigan. That is true. I was uh, going to uh, Michigan State Law School. It was uh, that was where I thought my path was going to be, and you know, God had a, a different plan, and uh, mm -hmm. I accept that plan, and uh, I couldn't be happier as someone who now, as a national sales manager, can live anywhere in the entire country. And for those who know me, I do travel quite a bit for my job, um, and I've gotten to see some great places. But um, there's nowhere I'd rather be than middle. Town Township in Monmouth County, New Jersey. Now, um, and your, your wife, how did you meet your wife? My wife and I met uh, my senior year in college, and she's uh, <laughs> a few years old, younger than me. Younger. Um, younger. Um, as, a, as a boss once told me, um, your wife is always younger than you, even if she's not, but mine right. is actually younger <laughs> than me. Younger, um, and we met, uh, we met through mutual friends. My wife actually grew up a mile away from where I grew up but in two different towns. She's right. from Woodbridge Township, I'm from Carteret, and um, we met uh, when I was about 22 years old and she was 18. And, uh, Were you already out of, out of Rutgers? Or you... I was just about to graduate, so it was that, to... that winter going into the spring. So if you'd gone to Michigan, that might not have turned out either. That's correct. A lot of... Uh, God broke your leg to... God tore my ACL and took me in a much better direction, I'd like to say. Well, good. Congratulations. <laughs> and you have two daughters. I have two daughters. A uh, 10-year-old daughter, um, Alessandra, and a 7-year-old daughter, Juliana, and uh, very active in, in many things, sports and school, and uh, they keep us very busy. Good. So you're, you've got a a demanding career. Uh -huh. You're an executive at Prudential. Yep. You manage 11 people. Yep. You have um, a young family. How old are your daughters? My daughters are 10 and 7. So 10 and 7. And how much time a week or a month, however you want to break it down, do you spend on Middletown Township business? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
That's a, a good question. It depends on the, the week. Um, it depends uh, on, on a lot of different things. But look, I give the time that I, that I could give, and it is several hours. And in my free time, um, when I'm not doing what I need to do for my career and, uh, or doing what I need to do for my family, I do spend a lot of time. Um, I can't quantify it in hours. I mean, it, it varies, but you know, some weeks more than others. But I, it's something that I've done for a number of years now. I'm, I'm happy to do it. I, I enjoy doing it. It's uh, this is a great community. Um, so, is your uh, pay involved? Well, uh, yes. Technically, there was a stipend to being on the township committee that was set in 1982. And it's set at about $65 a week or $4,000 a year. Um, I mean, I'm giving the after-tax version of $65 a week. So it's not doing it for the money. It's uh, Do you get it's pension with it? No, sir. There's no pension or no health, health benefits. benefits. No health benefits. No. Nothing. It is. It is to me. It's a com completely. Uh, it's a volunteer position. That four thousand dollars I make a year, I can promise you, I donate much more back to the community and different events and other things that uh, we're asked to do. So, why do you do this? Well, I, I, I have to say two reasons. When and these two things drive me. I know what it's like to live in a community and be forced to move. Okay, I, I love the town that I grew up in. I, I really did. I had great, my family's from there, great friends, great, great community. And I saw what happened from when a Republican leadership town turned the other way. I saw the low income housing, I saw the density, I saw the change in the school, I saw everything that everybody fears um, about not being able to live there and, and prosper. Um, most importantly, my most important job is not at Prudential. My most important job is not as a township committee man. My most important job is as a father. And I take that job more serious than anything else in life. And what fuels me in Middletown is I want my girls to be able to afford and be able to live in Middletown the rest of their life if they want to live in Middletown and not be forced to have a town that they didn't remember when they grew up. And I fight every day for that because I believe the decisions we make today and we've made some great decisions, um, will impact the future. And most importantly, second to that, I am a taxpayer. And I know I need to be able to afford here. And while I've been fortunate and I have a great job and you know a, a senior role in my career, I also know that there's gonna be a day that I'm going to retire. And a day that I want to stay in Middletown. A day that I want to be able to retire with my grandchildren, God willing. Um, so, what drives me is that motivation on a daily basis to make Middletown better. Um, I believe we have done some great things and I believe that there's still a lot of work to be done and my financial background and, and leadership experience, you know, I believe uh, can add to that. Good. So this has turned out to be a little bit of a long interview, but let's move on. No, it's good.